All right, so let's welcome up uh, Richard Bates, Jr., right. Matthew Gubler, and Elaine McCord. All right. And Mike One quick thing before we start. Okay, okay so for like my mom really doesn't like it that much. <laughs> and so for a bunch of festivals, I printed out the poster with quotes, like her quotes about the movie on it. Like, can you make a movie? Can you make the next one so I can show my friends? Uh, I guess it's artistic. So uh, I sent it out and like people started writing about her and she called me from Virginia and she was like, Ricky, I didn't sign up for this life. I'm gonna be a celebrity. I don't want this people to be calling your father and I don't. Mom, don't worry, like no one should do that. I love you, don't worry. So I really like I wanna do a videotape of, of you guys she, like screaming Rose Bates. Yeah. So I can say it to her and be like, Mom, like, I walked into screening and all these fucking people were just like screaming your name. <laughs> Uh, Rose Bates. Rose Bates. Rose, Rose Bates. Over and over again. Just Rose. Literally, literally nice like start. 20 seconds. All right. Ready? Start it off, brother. Do you want to do it on a, on a better video recording thing or no? No, no, no. no. We're recording, dude. We're recording. We're Rose Bates. Rose Bates. Rose Bates. Rose Bates. Go down on me, go down on me. I went down. 
Uh, and like she was a virgin, so it was like all blood. But I was like, like this is normal, right? Like I don't know what sex is. And like I literally that mirror shot is exactly what I saw. And I was like so terrified. How old like, were you and what was her name? Dude, I was like I was like thirty. I was like thirty-two. Not even thirty right now. I know. 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 I Here's, here's the worst part of the story. So all that happened in what I thought was her bed, but it was her roommate's bed. Two days into college, she destroyed her roommate's bed with, uh, I guess, virginal blood, right? It's like a great like 80s horror film. Look at this, this is a moderator. He's laughing underneath this little mask. Uh, so uh, we, we want to do a pie thing. You know, let's do this. Why don't ask some questions? We'll throw an audio. Have an introduction first. Dylan, introduce yourself. I'm Dylan. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice to meet all of you. I produce this thing. Uh, yes. And uh, it was even more insane making it uh, than what came out on the screen. I believe it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, yeah, it's because there's about a hundred cut scenes that are somewhere on the editing editing room floor. Because it was like two and a half hours long when we finally had the final cut, and what's that? 88 minutes. 80, 83. I'm waiting. No one, no one gets a special scene until we get to release our 20th anniversary edition. I get some money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Anna Marie McCord. I play Pauline. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm in it for a very little time. I'll point out, I'm kind of sweating right now, but it's because I'm wearing a flannel lined pants. And if I can explain it, they look like normal and casual. They look like normal corduroys inside, like they're showing. Yes. Yeah. They're lined. It feels like I'm wearing pajamas, but I'm really wearing flannel, and it's making me really hot. Do you feel that? Woo! Pretty good, right? All right, the flannel. All right. Good job. Good job. I am a Richard Bates Jr. I wrote and directed the movie. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, why don't you ask? Uh, I mean, we have some famous people here. Ask them some questions, and then, um, and then we'll do some fun games and stuff. You want to do that? Like, I fun games? Be the most fun like Q and A of your life. Like, How many of you have been to a Q and A before? Half. Yeah, typically that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping to spice this too. And again, I, I say this having been in the movie for one minute. <laughs> I like I I, I hijack my way into this. He's got a question. I want to give him the mic. Like, I, now I get to make like movies for a living. It's, it's crazy. Like, yeah, it's, it's 
it's awesome. So it's a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. Does Marlon Mylon know what kind of movie she was going to be in? Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. It's really funny you you ask that because I had this wonderful meeting with her and she read like the part because you know it's she said yes right and then two days before shooting she called and she was like or her agent called and was like. Like, uh, Diana Lynn, uh, I'm super busy. Uh, am I allowed to tell these stories? Yeah, tell 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 yeah she was like, uh, his, her agent called and was like, she's super busy. Like, she's not going to be able to do the movie. I was like, I re- like are you kidding me? Like, what, you know, it was this huge thing. She didn't want to do it at all. And then she, she came to set and she was like super, super nice. But um, I remember she said this one, like, slightly, like, Unaccessible, con- like like in the middle, she went she went up to me and uh, she just did this scene with with that like, crazy scene. She was like, she was like, I feel like I'm like, doing a porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> now I like literally at first I didn't think it was because of that. I thought it was because our sets were so fucking shitty. Like we could like, <laughs> like and we had like two lights. I thought it was like one light. I don't know what it was. But um, uh, I I have no idea why she did it. She was she was nice. She she uh, paid for my lunch, which I was amazing. Um, that rarely happens. Free lunch, I mean, come on, right? You take a free lunch. Um, yeah, she was awesome. Uh, so yes, more questions. What's Roger Waters like? John. Roger Waters is a guitarist. He's great too. Okay, answer the question. Fuck me. So check it out. Um, John was so cool, man. So uh, Trace introduced me to him because he's one of my heroes. I grew up like right outside of Baltimore. So I got to like, um, I guess I like, grew up on a film called Pink Flamingos, which I love so much. And uh, and she she introduced me to him, and um, he read the script, and he called me, and he was like, uh, Ricky, this is John Waters. And I was like, oh my <laughs> fucking God. Like, I seriously did. I started crying. Like, I, I, and, uh, and he was like, well, listen, uh, this is a very strange script. <laughs> and I, like, my heart sank, dude. Like, I, I died, you know what I mean? Because like, John Waters would turn me down, like my hero. And then he goes, well, listen, uh, don't fly coach, and I'm not shaving my mustache, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> he flew out, he was the coolest dude ever. And you know how, like, you know, he's such a famous director, and he could have, uh, you know, started spouting opinions, and but he, he was just so nice. Like, he, he, he let me do my thing, and just the, you know, every now and then you get to meet one of your heroes, and they're just like an honest to God good dude, and, and he was just such a good dude. In fact, like just the other day, like my mom, so my dad and my brother and I, back in Virginia, every Christmas we would go to his like, Christmas show, and uh, my mom would never go because she was like, I'm not gonna let John Waters ruin my Christmas. <laughs> and then, uh, and then because of the movie, she was like, Well, I just, I just feel terrible not going because John helped out my baby, and, uh, and so sh- I have this picture from like four days ago of my mom and John Waters that would be like above my, like, it, it, it with me wherever I go for the rest of my life. And, and it's, it's awesome. So he, you know, he can live anywhere ever. He's a good, good, good dude. Yes? Um, I, I liked the end of the movie and it felt like it was the end as I was watching it. It felt like the right time to stop. Mm-hmm. But did you always know that was the end or had you shot scenes that happened beyond that? It's so funny you say that, man, because I made the short. Um, Back in college, I went to school in New York, and uh, in 2008, I made a short version, and it, it, that was the end, the exact same ending. And everyone kept saying, I can't wait for you to make the feature, like, you're going to see what happens. And I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, so it, it's funny, but yeah, the, I mean, the movie, it's about their relationship, and it's the first time she touches her without slapping her. It's a, you know, I, I guess, like, <laughs> in some twisted way, it's like a mother-daughter, like, bonding. It was buy for your mother on Mother's Day. <laughs> You know, like she hugs her and she realizes that she had a part in creating this and no matter what she did, this terrible, awful thing she did, it's still her baby. And they, and they both, you know, she has this sort of moment of, you know, realization and, and they have it in each other's arms. So that was the end of the story, you know what I mean? There's no more story to tell after that moment. So that was 